Baby. Baby boy. Hey, baby. Good morning. Hi, everyone. I did not feel like um, suiting up to go out in the cold today, so you are receiving a morning check in from my kitchen. <laughs> from the warmth of inside. Even inside the house, it's cold. I have my sweater on, so you can see my plants in the background, some of them, my climbing wall. Hold on, let me show you. My love and my our friend Matt built this climbing wall um, uh, maybe a couple years ago now. It's been a while, but you can see it's pretty steep. So... It's pretty hard to climb on, but it's pretty fun because now we have um, basically a gym inside of the house. One of these days I'm going to teach my dogs how to wipe their own feet. <laughs> Watch out, Freya. Um, but yeah, I think one of the challenges of staying at home, at least for me, is now I feel a lot more sedentary. I know um, sedentary means you know, less active, right? It means stationary. So I feel like instead of being up and walking around the classroom and walking around the school all day, now I've just parked my butt in my chair in my office, well, the classroom, right? The gear room. I just sit down and I feel like I'm sitting down all day long. And maybe some of you are feeling that way too, where you're just on the computer either in a chair or laying down or even when you're standing up you're pretty much just standing in one spot so I have noticed for myself I have to be really intentional about getting up and moving going outside it helps having the dogs because I can take my dogs for walks you know and I'm grateful that I live in the kind of neighborhood where I can just go walk around you know and walk down the street to the park and if all else fails, at least I have a yard that I can get outside in. But, you know, for some of us it's easier than others, but we all have to be creative about how we get ourselves moving. You know, our bodies need movement. We need exercise. That's what we're made for. Um, and that's how we stay healthy. You know, that's how we thrive. We have to keep our bodies moving. So... I challenge you find some way to get moving today maybe that's just you know running up and down or doing some push-ups some sit-ups um, you know just maybe having a dance party in your own living room or in your kitchen maybe you can go run around your yard or if you're lucky enough to have a bike or a scooter or a skateboard you know take that out I Went for a bike ride the other day um, with my love, Jeff, and it felt so nice. It was before it snowed a couple days ago, and it was really warm out, I think, on um, Saturday. And it was just glorious. I mean, we didn't have any destination in mind. We didn't really go anywhere, um, but we just hit the trails and, you know, wore we wore our face masks and our helmets, because <clears throat> safety first. And we just biked down the trail for a little while. It was really nice. So I'm really fortunate. First of all, we're really fortunate that we can move our bodies, right? That we have our arms and legs and that we can um, move and see and hear, right? So let's be grateful for those things to begin with. Um, but second of all, I'm also grateful that I have all these resources available to me and that I'm able to, you know, get out of my house and, and explore and still, you know, move and exercise. I think that's critical, it's critically important. Okay, well that turned into a bit more of a lecture than I was intending. I was just trying to show you my wall. Um, but long story short, be creative about how you... Um, move and how you stay active and you know how you keep yourself engaged because it's really easy um, when we're just stuck at home it's really easy just to 
it's easy to let yourself be lazy, right? It's easy to just reach for the Netflix or, you know, let's say you're done with your assignment for the day to just close your computer and hop right on your phone, right? And get straight to Instagram or I know you guys love that TikTok. I'm not on TikTok, but, um, right? I find I'm guilty of it too. And I'm not saying all, all relaxation is bad, like chill and scroll and do your thing, but don't let yourself get into a rut, right? Don't let yourself stay there for long. Um, you gotta switch it up. Gotta switch it up. Okay, give yourself some variety. See how you can spice up your day today. Maybe even that's just, um, you know, doing your homework or your schoolwork in a different room of the house. Um, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll bring our class lessons out to the kitchen today. Um, or, you know, do some, do 50 jumping jacks every two hours. You know, find, find some way to keep yourself on your toes. Okay. Um, that's my advice and my challenge to you today. Okay. I love you. There's lots to do. I'm going to take this coffee and chug it and get back to work. Um, I hope you have a really great day and I will see you later. Bye.